Hi everyone, today we are going to know how to set up Dolphin Scheduler development environment and run source code on our Windows OS locally. To begin with, visit Dolphin Scheduler website and check the development navigation. Then we could see the developer guide which clearly introduces how to build Dolphin Scheduler development environment and the preparations before front-end and back-end development. Then we are going to build, start, and debug Dolphin Scheduler by the official guidance. Here we have a note. For this note, I summarized the entire process in advance. Above all, Go to GitHub to download the whole Dolphin Scheduler project. On GitHub, we can use git clone command or download the code package directly. Here we choose to download the zip package in the browser, which has already been downloaded here. And next, we need to install Zookeeper on our Windows. First, visit Zookeeper official website and open the releases page. Select a version and download it. We also have already downloaded here. In the first place, we unzip both Zookeeper and Dolphin Scheduler package. By sequence, we deal with Zookeeper installation first. To begin with, we need to create data and log two folders under Zookeeper directory. The data folder is used to store Zookeeper data, and the log one is used to store Zookeeper logs information. After that, we go to the Zookeeper conf folder, copy the zoo-simple.cfg file in the conf directory, rename it to zoo.cfg, and modify the data and log directory settings. Here we copy the data DIR and the data log DIR. Afterwards, we go to the bin folder and run zkserver.cmd to start the zookeeper service. The service starts when we see the command windows. Then we run zkkli.cmd to use client to verify whether the keeper service runs smoothly. Run list file to check the root directory. And we could see a node called zookeeper which means Zookeeper service run successfully. For this, the installation and the startup of Zookeeper is complete. After Zookeeper is done, we are going to create a debug database for Dolphin Scheduler. We create a new database, Dolphin Scheduler Test, by using Navicat a MySQL connector 2 and uh, select the UTF-8 character site. Then we import source code into integrated development environment by the open function of IntelliJ IDEA.
by following idea view of download repositories and result dependencies according to Maven. Then we need to do some configuration modifications. We need to change the scope of MySQL Connector Java to compile. Open the pom.xml and search keyword MySQL Connector to modify the scope. And click Re-import Maven to refresh Maven. Next, we need to change the MySQL data source configuration of DAO module to the new created database. We open DAO module, find the data source properties inside the resources folder. Annotated PostgreSQL config and add MySQL config. After the data source is done, we run the database init method of DAO module. This method will create all the tables and the data and import them to target the database which Dolphin Scheduler needs. We just run the main method of create Dolphin Scheduler. The code will do the rest of the job to import data. After finished, refresh database and we could see all the data and tables are complete. Next, we need to change the Zookeeper configuration of DS service module to our local Zookeeper local host and port 2181. Open the service module and find the zookeeper properties inside the resources folder. We could see there is already local host and 2181 so we don't need to change. Then we are going to add standard worker server log output to the console. Open server module and find logbike worker.xml in the resources folder. Add standard output in the logbike configuration to print worker server logs. And the same, we could also add standard log output in master and API modules. After log signing is done, start four main services. The first one is main method of master server.
Before we start master service, we need to configure some VM options. Create a new application in IDEA and select the master server class. Set VM options for logging and the read. And set server module as class pass. Then we go to find worker server and do the same settings to worker. Add worker logback file and the read to VM options and set class pass. There is one API server left. Assign logback file and active profile to API server. In this way, the startup of three main modules are configured. Then we try to start main services. First, master. And the worker. API at the last. If we want to use the log function, we can start the logger server directly without any configurations. The log function enables us to check the task log after the execution of process instance. At this time, we can try to access Swagger document. And if APIs are listed on the website, 
it shows that the startup is successful. After the back end is deployed, we proceed to start the front end. Go to the UI module and open it in Windows Explorer. The node version is 12.20.2. Run npm install to install relevant dependencies that front end requires. I have already downloaded beforehand. And after that, run npm run start to start the front end. Visit localhost and port quadruple it and sign in with default account. Username admin and password is Dolphin Scheduler123. Finally, we have successfully started Dolphin Scheduler front end and back end. Now we could move forward to develop and debug Dolphin Scheduler on our local environment. That's so much for today's video. Thanks.